Good morning, my friends. It's Monday, February 1st, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun, Kate. And yes, I have a very loud and hungry cat enjoying her breakfast. And also the things that help me pray. St. Francis. Jesus. Jesus and Mary and the baby. We continue in Paul's letter to the church in Galatia and Paul is unpacking this notion that we are no longer slaves to the law but we have inherited the kingdom through Christ. That when Jesus came and showed us how to cry out Abba Father that we became heirs. We entered it into a different relationship with God. Co-creators of sorts, people who are adults, capable of impacting the world, capable of building the kingdom. It's hard to believe that we're not helpless. Sometimes I feel helpless. I feel helpless when people in my church are suffering, when I feel exhausted and cannot reach out in the way that I want to. But we have been given a small amount of ability. There is within you a Christ resonance. There is within you the potential of an empowering relationship with God, one that enables you to do things you couldn't even imagine. You're stronger than you think. We are heirs of the kingdom, builders of the kingdom. And when things get overwhelming, it's easy to feel powerless. And there are things that we cannot control, for sure. We are not God, but we can do some things. I've always loved that beautiful prayer that's attributed to Reinhold Niebuhr. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. What are the things that you can change? What are the things that you could impact today? And don't judge anything as being too small or insignificant. The kingdom of God's measurement system is completely different than ours. One small act of kindness can alter everything. What can you do today for the kingdom? Heirs, inheritors of God's grace. What is God asking of you today? What is the work that God has given you to do? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that in sending your Son, you put us in direct relationship with you. You had confidence with us. You entrusted us to build the kingdom here. And maybe we can only move one stone or shore up one foundation in our small little area of the world. Help us to know what it is that we're called to do. Use us, we pray, as you will. And always to your glory and the welfare of your kingdom. Lord, bless those who are sick today. Bless the dying. Give us patience and wisdom. We thank you for these vaccines. We thank you for all we are learning in this time. Open our hearts, Lord, as you open back up this world, bring it into this pandemic so that we can hug one another again. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, who came so that we might inherit the earth. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.